This is Rap the News. Let no man deceive you right now. The guilty, the sinner, will be turned into fire shortly. Do not take the day of the Lord as a joke. These people make a mockery out of God, Jesus, you, and everything. Nothing is funny when you know, when you laugh and not weep. Nothing is funny. In the end, the fire trieth every man's work. What did that mean? God is not talking. People are not talking. The angels are not talking. The fire is coming to you. If there is sin and iniquity there, you shall burn. Every man's work will burn if it ain't righteous work. So, a couple of weeks ago, I did a confession to the Most High God. He knows my sins and my shortcomings and my iniquities. He already know. We have conversations all the time. I'm talking about me to God. And where I'm saying, you know, uh, I hope I'm doing enough to cover, to cover. See, everything is for the record and people don't understand this. Nobody in a right mind that's sane want to deal with this fire that's coming and it ain't playing. God has already given us a glimpse of it. We got this damn planet burning on the horizon. Everybody is seeing that shit glowing on the horizon. If you've seen a glow on the horizon, you've seen it. And it is global warming, heating this planet up. On that day, it's going to burn you and this planet up. It will set the mountains ablaze, says the Most High God. Everything will be on fire. The fire is going to try every man's work. The spirit of the Most High God tells me, desist. Sin no more, says the spirit. Because if you do, then fear that day. Because if you do, you will fear that day. Let's get into it. Ezra 9.15 Lord, God of Israel, you are righteous. Why is God the only one righteous? Because he put a system out there that whatever you put into this balance system, it comes back out to you. That is God's righteous judgment. For we have survived and a few remain until now. So we are always few in number. Here we are before you in our guilt. None of us is worthy. We are all going to be saved if we're going to get saved by the grace and mercy of the Most High God. Though no one can face you because of this guilt. <coughs> I say it again. I confessed my sins, I always do it, to the Most High God. And I remembered all the things I did in my youth. And, you know, it's shameful because God saw every moment of that. We didn't think. You better be thinking now. Because we got a little bit of time before everybody's house is going to be ablaze. We're going to read about it. Jeremiah 21, 14. I will punish you based on what you have done. You ain't going to watch nothing in the blood of Jesus. Wait till you find out declares the Lord. I will set your forest on fire. It ain't just a forest because the next verse says what? The flames will engulf everything around you. The fire is coming to try your work. Jew and Gentile. All these counts. Oh, most high going to gonna tear y'all up when he get here. No, he going to tear you up. Sinner. Obadiah 118. And the house of Jacob See, they Hebrew shall be on fire and the house of Joseph shall be on fire and the house of Esau shall be on fire and they 
every last one shall kindle in this fire and this fire shall devour them though says God I make not a full end of the house of Jacob and the house of Joseph I won't leave you unpunished your wounds are going to be grievous after this fire you're going to be burnt to a crisp and still alive that's how serious it is Psalms 133, if you, O Lord, kept track of iniquities, which he says he does, that's called your record, then who, O Lord, can stand? Saying the same thing as the first. No one can face you because of this guilt. Nobody, don't let no man fool you or no woman, trying to play that holier than thou role, they can't. I, I've been doing righteous deeds for a very long time now. And I wouldn't sit here and bullshit you like this. We all have shit we struggle with. We all do. Some of us got one thing and some of us got m multiple. Nehemiah 9.33 How be it thou art just and all that is brought upon us, balance system. For thou hast done right but we have done wickedly and all this stuff is brought upon us because we have done wickedly key word is we psalm 76 7 you alone not with christ and not with the holy spirit you alone are to be feared when you are angry singular who can stand before you and the fierce anger of the Lord is going to be a day which no man can stand. All shall be humbled before the Most High. Every knee shall bend. I guarantee you no knee is bending for Jesus. I guarantee you that. Genesis eighteen twenty five. Far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked. So, like he said, I'm going to save you, Joseph. I'm going to save you, Jacob. I'm going to save you, Israel. But I'm going to make a full end of Edom. So that the righteous and the wicked are treated alike. Far be it from you. Will you not judge of all the earth? Do what is right. So we already know God's judgments are righteous judgments exodus 34 7 maintaining loving devotion to a thousand generations forgiving iniquities transgressions and sin yet he will by no means leave the guilty unpunished let's go back up to it folks no one can face you because all are fucking guilty Psalms 143, number two. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one alive is righteous before you. So, I got a spirit that was like, are you ready to go yet? Are you ready to go yet? Are you ready to die? If the Lord is coming, is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? It, t it tells me all the time. And each time I tell it, no, no, no. Who can be ready? I'm not ready. I can do a billion righteous things. I can turn a million people to the Lord. I can give them great understanding. We all can sit here and flourish on this in this world. But let's see who flourish in his presence. None. Unless his grace and his mercy wills. Nahum 1.6 Who can stand before his indignation? His wrath? Nobody. Who can confront the heat of his fury? His wrath pour out like fire. The heat of his fury. He already made a planetary system when he designed the heavens and the earth. He already made a planetary system, a fiery one. 
It's already heating this planet up and causing destruction already. When it arrives, no one will be able to abide. Trust me. He's like, oh, Raptor News, why are you doing all this righteousness? Why are you leading people? What is it that you want? Salvation. The title with salvation is not to be fucked with. I got to talk blunt. Salvation is not to be fucked with. Don't fuck with your salvation. I seen Brother Deshaun in sackcloth. You know what my brain said? They, they, they taking it serious. To some degree. If he had ashes on his head, that would be 100%. Then he understand what is to befall us. What we are facing here. That let me know you would under that you understand what we are facing here because he said, uh, "Will you laugh and not weep?" All everybody gonna be crying in a moment. Everybody gonna be pleading. Everybody gonna be fearing this fire that's gonna be coming down. There is no way or nowhere of escape. There's no place to flee. Wait till you find out. Y'all need to read. Isaiah 13, 9. Look, the day of the Lord is coming with cruel rage and burning anger. You keep hearing heat, fire, burning, melt. Making the earth a ruin and wiping out its sinners. Doing what? The fire is going to wipe out the sinner. He is going to remove the wicked off the land with fire. Malachi 4.1 Look again. Look means see. The day, how do you see? You got to look ahead and say, okay, let me envision the earth being on fire and how I'm faring. What does the fire want? The fire wants sinners. What does the fire want? It wants the arrogant ones. It wants the evil ones. All the arrogant ones and all those doing evil will become straw. The coming day will burn them. Okay. It says that some people is going out in spontaneous human combustion. Go look that up if you don't know what it is. Most people are probably familiar with it by now. Spontaneous human combustion. It said it's going to be so hot the fire is going to start from within your bodies and you're going to breathe out that damn fire, you dragon. You're going to breathe out that fire. You're going to burn from within. You think that's going to be fun? Wait till you breathe in fire. It literally says that. Call me on my shit. I'll do a whole lecture on that. 1 Corinthians 3.13 Everybody's work will be clearly shown. Everybody. For what is it? Everyone's work will be clearly shown for what it is. For the day of judgment will disclose it. Because it is to be revealed by fire. And the fire will test the quality and character and worth of each person's work. God ain't speaking, but through the fire. The fire is coming to you, black man, white man, Chinese man, Oriental, Russian man, with whoever you are, European. Fire is coming to you. Then what? What does the fire want? It wants your sinner ass. That's what it wants. It wants your iniquitous ass, sinner. All these people playing the game. I'm a sinner in need of a savior. No, you a motherfucker about to be burnt. You have no goddamn clue about what's going on. You think you're going to wash some in the blood of Jesus? Are you washing in the blood of Jesus while you burning up in this damn heat? This global warming, 
Somebody find me the blood of Jesus. Y'all got deceived. So I'll say it again. God is coming with fire. The fire devours before his coming. The fire is coming and knocking on your damn door. Hebrew, Jew, Gentile, whoever the hell you are, young and old, coming for your ass. It is looking for iniquity and sin. Desist or burn. This is Raptor News.